Hiya duck! Today we are doing nails and we are doing milk bath nails. It's something that I haven't done for ages and I really want to do it, but I want to do it with gel polish. Normally do it with acrylic and things like that. Gotta do it with gel polish, so let's get cracking. Right, I'm confused. I'm I knew you would be. I knew no, I knew you would be like, what are you on about? How do you do milk bath nails with gel polish? I thought you had to encapsulate. Yes. Okay. We're going to encapsulate, don't you worry. Okay. Don't you worry, my I'm darling. Sorry, too thin, but what do you know? Anyway. Ah. <laughs> Far too much, actually. <laughs> yeah, because you question and you're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, I've got these little dried flowers from Jalica. Um, I don't even know if Jalica exists anymore, but anyway, if it does, get them from there. If it doesn't, I'm sure you can find them. Um, so we've got lots of different little flowers and things. Um, do not put flowers that you've got from the garden into the nail. They have to be dried flowers. If you put flowers or leaves that have moisture in them on your nail, they will, even though, even if you encapsulate them in acrylic or acrogel, they will die mm. and go brown and look <laughs> nasty. So they need to be dried. You could dry them yourself. I'm sure there's videos put on YouTube the about how to do that. Hmm? Put them in the oven. I don't know if you're supposed to put them in the oven. Okay. You use silica. What's silica? Silica, like those little beads and they soak up moisture. You oh, put really? them. That yeah. Would yeah. I was going to think you could put them in the air fryer or on dehydrate board. No, I don't know if that's what that's for, Adam. It's dehydrating, isn't it? It's. That's Have a go. Nice. Have a go. Let's know it works. <laughs> I haven't got an air fryer. Really? They're too expensive and you can't get them, so mm. not got one. The kids want one. I want one. I mean, to be fair, if you've got an oven, an oven that has uh, what's it like a convection oven where it's got the air circulating and you just put a fan, um, yeah, fan assisted grill. That's, yeah, I've got that. Then you've got an air fryer. That's really? Basically, what it is. Is it's it? It's just a bigger version of one. Oh. Hundred percent. Yeah. That's, that's it. Right, well. But I suppose what it does is it saves you electricity because mm. it's a smaller compound. So if you just want to make like... Boring, Adam! Next subject. Okay. <laughs> Don't put them to sleep. Right, so first thing we're going to do is I want you to imagine that this is either a natural nail or a nail extension of some kind. So we're going to use base coat. Base coat on top of the nail. This is going to give you maximum adhesion, nice and thin. The thinner this goes on, the better your adhesion. While that's in the lamp and it's curing, I'm going to make a little selection of flowers and leaves and things like that. See what we can use in these nails. Just gonna take a bit of everything that I like out and then I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. <laughs> which is what I like to do. Do you know the names of the flowers? Don't do we be get our horticultural book out? Don't be so ridiculous, I do <laughs> not know the names. Oh, do you know what though? See these little bits in the pot? They'll be really good for filling, just scattering. Mm. So don't think, oh, they've all broken off. You can still use them. So, base coat done. Then, my background, I want to use some of the quartz. So this is a milky gel polish that has all these fibres and shards of mylar glitter and all that shebang in it. That's going to be our base colour. And it's just going to give a little bit of milkiness. But it's also going to give those shards as well just to add a little bit extra i'm going to do two coats of that Second coat in the lamp. 
while it's in the lamp, I'm just going to cut up these little leaves off the stem. Because I kind of don't want the whole thing, I just want like little pieces. They're tiny, tiny scissors coming out. They do. So these are our straight cuticle scissors. Then we're gonna go on with the color milky, nice and thin. This is a milky white, super thin, because we still want to see some of those bits of glitter and shards coming through. But this will just make it a little bit more opaque. So, obviously you're encapsulating. Yeah. Gel polish is quite flexible. Yes. It compares to obviously like an aqua gel or mm -hmm. the um, acrylic and, and art gels. So how will that affect sort of the the capsule? Because I've not got to that bit yet. How about that? Oh, you mean I'm jumping ahead? You're jumping ahead. <laughs> right, let's get some of these in. So we're going to press these into that wet gel. And the more you let them soak up the gel, the better they will stick. I'm just going to randomly place these. We want a bit of blue in here, so I'm going to use those tiny leaves. Leaves or petals, sorry. And let's cut a few of these ones up. Now this part doesn't want to stick down as much, so I'm going to hold those bits down while I flash cure. Could you sort of, uh, if you wanted to, sort of paint, not paint, but put gel polish on the back of it? Before you paint, so like sort of dampen it down a little bit and then. You, you could, but yeah, I guess you could, yeah, yeah. Let's give that a full cure now. And then we're going to take Strengthify. Uh -huh. 
This is in Casper. So this is how you deal with the strength issue. Yes. So first of all, you want to do a thin layer, making sure you catch all the edges of the flowers. Then, while that layer is wet, we haven't cured that thin layer, we are going to build some structure with Strengthify. Ah, so you sort of treat like a little bit of a builder. Yes. Because it's got the consistency. Mm-hmm. So, if it was on a a natural nail, obviously it'd be probably a little bit shorter. Natural nails tend to be a little bit shorter than this. But if this was on top of a nail extension, you wouldn't need to worry too much about the strength, would you? I'm going to turn the finger over. I can check if we've got an apex in there. And we can use the Lily Liner brush to pull the product into any spaces that need to be filmed. And then I can put that into the lamp. Now with strength the bar, you want to put it on the 99 seconds, which is a low temperature. So it'll go low and it'll gradually build up the heat. Not the heat, that's the wrong word. It will gradually build up the intensity of the wavelengths of the light, the LED light. If you bang it straight in on normal setting, it will create a heat spike. You're gonna reduce the heat spike by putting it on the low setting in the lamp. And then we want one more thin layer of strength by. Don't worry about any little twiggy bits that are sticking out. They'll be filed away. And pop that in the lamp. Right, I'm gonna wipe over with cleanup solution. Then I'm going to file this. Just need a 240 grit file. You don't need anything too abrasive. So those little bits that were sticking out, they'll just file away. And that actually adds depth to the design. If you've got some little bits that you hit with the file, it adds the depth to that milk bath look. And if you're wondering what a milk bath is, um, anybody had a pedicure where you do like your milk bath? Oh, no, you look at me thinking I've had a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have a pedicure, what they do is they, they do like, you can have like a milk bath pedicure and they put petals in it and everything like that. Oh, right. Okay. So that makes it look like a milk bath with the petals. Right, okay. And that's where this nail design comes from. I have taken the nail off the Aliana hand just because I don't want to damage it any more than I have done already. Right, I'm gonna wipe over with clean up solution. So you see where we, this part here is really pigmented because it's the highest point of the petal. Then as it goes deeper, it's more milky. That's what you want. You want it to look like it's floating in the nail. Then the strength five will do that for you. And that's in the color. Let's get the right one. Get the right one, Kirst. That's in the color Casper. So we're going to top coat this bad boy. Do we need some bling though? 
Um, I think it needs one bling there, one bling there, in the middle of the flower. <laughs> I'll be back. Right, so we're going to use a little bit of crystal totalis, which is a gem glue from Nail Me. Pick that up. In the middle of that flower. So press your gem into the gem gel and you want it to kind of create like a little reservoir, a little moat around the gem that's going to hold it on tight. Mm, maybe one here as well. I think maybe that one should be smaller. Yeah. I will not do. I'm just scatter a few. That's it. I'm getting carried away onto with gems. I'm going to size down and keep these ones like, a little bit smaller. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. See. Oh, you needed it. Pop it in the lamp. Now, when you scatter crystals, oh, I'm not right on you. When you scatter crystals, I like to go directly over the top. And I know I wouldn't normally do that, but when they are scattered and they've got no protection from other stones that are around them, I would normally like put other stones around or like some microbeads and that. Yes, it's decoration, but it actually protects them. So I'm going to go directly over the top. I'm going to make sure I kind of take off as much as I can. You can even get one of the sticks with the cotton wool on the end and just drag off some of that top gel, well, top coat, and you can just take that off and it'll still sparkle to the moon. So there you are. Very nice. Milk bath nail using gel polish and a little bit of strengthify. Look at that. I think some people are worried about the, like, you know, sort of a, anything that's encapsulated that's going to make their nail too big. So that's a good alternative. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, because it really it's is. Like, they don't want that height with, mm -hmm. the, with the fair pegs. Yeah. Yeah, so that's. Because, yes, you can do it with acrylic, but if you've got a client that's come in, and she's already got a set on that's like got nude acrylic or even clear acrylic, you can fill that nail and then do this directly on the top. So they can change their design up very easily. Whereas if it's done with acrylic, it's set into the nail and it's always gonna be there. Um, they'd only be able to change that design then with gel polish, which is fine. But this is a cool way of doing a baby, baby? of doing a milk bath nail on an already existing nail extension or a natural nail. All you natural nail lovers, this is for you. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and all the social media platforms that we have available. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-da, duck!